Today, in this video, we're gonna kick off a four-part series talking about smart home basics, and we're starting with networking, so stay tuned. Hey, smart home enthusiast, I'm Kyle Wright, and I'm your smart home butler. If you wanna be educated, empowered, and informed about everything smart home technology, then go ahead and click the subscribe button, and click the bell so you can get notifications about future videos. The majority of Americans still have one router in their home, whether that be the one that came with the internet service provider or they went out to the store and picked one up for themselves. Unfortunately, in our smart home era and our desire for more streaming services, one router isn't really gonna cut it. Your outside cameras are not gonna be able to communicate as effectively. You see buffering issues. There's a lot of concerns with a single router setup. So I'm gonna to talk to you about two different routes you can go with making your home more network friendly for your smart home. So there's really two ways that we can go about this. We have wired access points as well as mesh networks. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about both. So let's start with wired access points. They have great performance and amazing speed, but unfortunately they can be fairly pricey and invasive if you don't have network cables already dropped in your home. If you already have network cables dropped in your home, then this may be something that you want to consider. Wired access points do require a lot more work. You're gonna have to have a switch where all of your hard lines are connecting together, connecting to a router, probably gonna want to be a closet or some other space where you can bring all of that together. It does require a little bit more maintenance and a more technical expertise. And so if technology is not really your forte, then possibly wired networking may not be for you. I will say Unify is a great brand of access points that you can invest in that a lot of homes are using. So if you already have the network cabling installed and you are techie and want to go with a wired access point system, then check out Unify. So let's talk about mesh networks. Mesh networks is a new phrase that is going out all over the smart home industry. And it's a really great way it's still a little pricey, but cheaper than having to install networking cable is to allow for multiple access points in your home that work on wireless. There are four major brands that play into mesh networking that I recommend to people. That's going to be the Linksys Velop system, the Netgear Orbi, the Google Wi-Fi, and the Eero Pro. These four all have their own pros and cons. Let's talk a little bit about the two higher end options. So if you have fiber internet like myself, where you have a thousand gigabits upload and download, then you're gonna want to look at either the Linksys Velop system or the Netgear Orbi if you want to get the full speed out of your fiber internet. Both of these devices have what is called tri-band technology. Tri-band technology is basically, in a typical wireless router, it's a dual band system. You have one 2.4 gigahertz band and you have one 5 gigahertz band. That's usually why you see two SSIDs when you try to log in to a router. The great thing about tri-band technology is you still have those two dedicated bands for your devices to connect to, but there is a third additional five gigahertz band that is solely used as the backhaul for the traffic that is traveling over the system. This is what allows Linksys and Netgear to have mesh networks that can really push the limits of those fiber speeds. If you don't yet have fiber internet where you live, then you may wanna consider a more affordable, cheaper option. A great one is Google Wi-Fi and the Eero Pro. They both have great interfaces, really easy setups. I mean, all of the mesh networks have easy setups and have really intuitive devices. I really like the hands-off approach that mesh networking takes. If devices fail or, or something happens, the network will automatically self-heal itself in a sense. It'll 
update the different nodes that it needs to update while trying to keep the network active. So that's a really awesome feature with mesh networks. And then one of my last recommendations for home networking in a smart home is to think about your network security. I have really made a point for the devices that are not from brands that I know, and even some devices from brands that I do know, I put those smart home devices on a guest home Wi-Fi. I use my guest network to store all of my smart devices and then all of my phones and laptops and iPads that I have connected to my network connect to a separate network. That way the smart home devices cannot access my personal information. So that is also something else to consider. In our next video, we're gonna be talking about voice assistants, giving you the inside on Google, Alexa, and Siri. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out. I'm gonna put a link to that video here. I'm also gonna put a link to the entire series for Smart Home Basics. So if you wanna check that out, go for it.